Hi! Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening! Kamusta po kayo lahat dyan? This is Charlie Jose and you're watching my third episode of Upstream Charlie. Marami po sa atin ang gustong magsimula mag-vlogging, mag-youtubing, or mga teacher na nangangailangan ng basic setup at saka basic uh, microphone uh, system solution para makapagsimula kayo ng inyong video. So, without further ado, I'll discuss to you. Hello mga kabayan, uh, ito po, i-discuss ko yung unang uh, produkto na kasama sa Total Solution kung paano kayo magsisimula ng mura uh, sa inyong pagbablog o sa inyong pag-online uh, teaching. So, ang unang produkto na nadiscover ko at uh, maganda po ito, ito po yung lapel microphone, uh, also called a lavalier microphone. Okay? Kadalasan po nakikita niyo po ito sa mga TV show o kaya sa mga interview sa TV show, uh, ito po yung nilalagay dito sa, ng mga reporters no? or sa show para sa mga guests at saka sa mga nag interview din. So, ito po itsura ng yon Yung lavalier microphone or yung lapel microphone kasi lumaki ako sa 80s, 70s. So, ito po ang tawag namin lapel microphone, hindi lavalier. Pero ngayon lavalier na tawag nila. Okay? So, meron po siyang pop filter uh, para sa microphone para mabawasan po yung mga popping sound na mapoproduce ng uh, fingers nyo o ng hands nyo o sa damit nyo. Ang susunod yung haba po ng uh, kable. Yung kable po ay dalawang metro. Mahabang mahaba na po yun para hindi kayo mahirapan kapag nag uh, selfie video kayo katulad ng ginagawa ko ngayon. At kung kailangan nyo nakatayo, parang reporter, kasi meron kayo ni-explain na produkto, yung distansya po na to is enough for you to uh, maneuver during the video production, during your explanation of a product or explanation of a PowerPoint no? uh, when you're doing it online. So, ito po yung lapel microphone. So, it's, it's gonna cost you only less than... Uh, 200 pesos for this one. Sama na yung delivery if you're from Metro Manila. Okay? So, yung overall na budget lang natin dito, kasama yung susunod na produkto ay 1,000 pesos. So, if you're in Metro Manila. Okay? So, ang susunod po natin produkto ay yung ring light with stand and cellphone holder. Hello, kabayan! Uh, ang susunod natin produkto na i-discuss ay yung pangalawang solusyon sa budget uh, light and microphone setup natin. So, yung gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, uh, gusto kong banggitin, ito pong tinatawag na selfie ring light na, na 10 inches. Meron po siyang dalawang rows ng LED. Meron white light at saka warm light na nasa loob niya. Tapos, pag yung settings niya sa remote niya, may combination din siya ng warm and white light mamaya po i-on natin okay, so kasama po dito meron na siyang diffuser so hindi na po harsh light yung didiretso sa mukha nyo o sa katawan nyo at least uh, hindi masyadong bright so hopefully magkaroon ka ng cinematic effect using diffuser nanto okay, so yung stud niya ang maximum height po niya ay ano po uh, 5 feet no? Mataas-taas na rin po yun kasi mga Pilipino, usually ang average height, height is mga 4'8", 5'3", ganon. So, okay po siya pag uh, magbibideo ka ng sarili mo na nakatayo or nakaupo. Kasi ito po ang currently na shortest length niya. Pag itatayo nyo po, iluluwagan nyo lang po yung dito sa paanan, yung sa parang tripod niya. Kailangan po pag binuksan nyo, hanggang dyan, yan, itayo nyo maayos. Okay. Lalak nyo lang ganyan. 
Yan. So, kita nyo? Yan. Ganyan. Okay. Mahaba din po yung kable nun to. Mga 1 meter po. Kasama po yun na uh, ano niya, light controller niya. Okay. Tapos, may stages po ito. So, luluwagan nyo lang po itong ano, yung mga pantight. Pantight ng ano, ng mga tubo. At mag-stretch na po yan. Re-retract at saka extend. Okay. So, ganyan po kahaba yan. So, ano po to 10 feet. Ah, sorry. 5 feet po. 5 feet lang. Okay. Hanggang dito po yung 5 feet, no? Hindi kasama yung... Hindi kasama... Hanggang dito lang yung 5 feet. Hindi kasama yung ring light. Yung ring light, again, it's 10 inches. Okay. Almost a foot. So, almost uh, 6... 6 feet po yung ano niya, kasa, kung kasama yung light. Okay? Kung kasama yung light. Kapag binili nyo po ito, uh, USB lang po ang saksakan niya. Okay? Hindi kasama, wala kang kasamang adapter. So, kailangan mo ng adapter katulad ng ito. Okay, may USB port at saka may US flat na tinatawag na plug. Okay. So, kung marami ka dating mga cellphone o may mga sirang cellphone dyan na natira yun, ano, yung, yung sa, pa, para sa power niya, huwag niyo po itatapon. Uh, always keep it uh, in a dry and uh, clean uh, container para sa future na kakailangan niyo magagamit niyo katulad ngayon. So, isasaksa ko para maipakita ko po sa inyo yung different lights. Now, again, ito po yung controller niya. Tatlo po yung selection niya. Meron warm light, meron white light, at saka warm and white light na combination. Okay, so, ayo on po natin. 1, 2, 3. Ayan. Ang unang-una pong makikita nyo ay yung tinatawag na warm light. Okay? Yung susunod, eh yung white light. Tapos susunod ulit yung warm and white light. Okay? Tapos pwede po kayo mag, ano, may plus and minus sign po dito. Pwede nyo bawasan, i-dim nyo, or balik nyo ulit sa maximum niya. Okay? Na natutuwa naman ako dito, may na-discovery ako habang ginagamit ko ito earlier doon sa mga uh, na-record ko ng video, yung mga na-post ko, ito yung isa sa mga ginamit ko. Nag-auto shutdown po minsan tong ilaw, yung isa sa mga LED pag nakaramdam na po siya ng init. So hindi ko alam kung anong Celsius ang nararamdaman niya, pero automatically nag-shutdown siya. So ang gagawin mo, mag-shift ka sa ibang ilaw. So if you started sa white light tapos nag-shutdown na siya kasi mainit because you're not using an electric fan or an aircon kasi nga mapipick up ng, ng video recording mo yung aircon at saka electric fan ita transfer mo na lang ulit siya sa ibang uh, setup white light or uh, warm light or a combination of both okay so yan yung ano yung tukol sa ilaw uh, of course may kasama siyang micro uh, cellphone stand no so mamaya makita ko po sa inyo kung paano yung setup at paano nyo po mamamaximize itong produkto na ito. Patayin natin muna kasi mainit. Mainit.
sa my phone. Nag-ano ka na lang, mag-adjust-adjust ka. Hi, uh, this is Charlie and uh, we're testing the microphone setup with the LED light, ring light with stand and cell phone holder. So this is again the lapel microphone or the lavalier microphone. It has a pop filter plus a clip for your clothing. Let's practice on uh, uh, exchanging the light. This is the warm light. This is the white light and this is the warm and white light. Okay, so I'm seated right now. Uh, I have an extension cord here where I plug the USB, USB to flat uh, adapter. Okay, reminder, it does not include the adapter. The plug is USB, so you could plug it where there is a USB uh, port available. Okay. Just be wary, uh, just be alert about uh, using uh, glasses as you can see it uh, reflects ref it reflects on your uh, glass so better not to wear uh, a glass. So that was my presentation about how you could start with uh, YouTubing, vlogging or online teaching by using a basic setup like this one. A budget setup, less than 1,000 pesos, less than 20 US dollars. Uh, you could buy this in Lazada in Asia or, or in AliExpress you know, for North Americans and other countries. Okay, so again, the lapel microphone plus the selfie ring light, 10 incher with cell phone holder and stand. Hello, hi, uh, this is Charlie Jose and you're watching Upstream Charlie, fourth episode, fourth episode, yeah, fourth, yeah, you think it's easy to edit? Hell no, anyway, uh, the fourth episode, this fourth episode will be doing an unboxing again, yeah, but uh, the unboxing is a package deal, it's a bundle for a BM800 condenser microphone and a V8 uh, sound card okay so I'll be doing just a minor test of the BM800 I'm not gonna test the V8 V8 because you need extensive uh, testing for that and that would be a separate video altogether so what are you waiting for what am i waiting for right let's do the unboxing oh my god Hi, good day, and you're watching again an episode of Upstream Charlie, and uh, this episode we will be doing an unboxing, yes, an unboxing only plus minor test of the product, well one of the product. So this is the BM800 uh, condenser microphone with B8 sound card package. So I bought this, uh, it was uh, less than 1,500 uh, pesos so that's around uh, $15 $15 yeah around $15 
uh, if you're gonna buy this at uh, Ali, AliExpress but uh, in Asia we buy it in uh, Lazada but both companies both online uh, online shopping centers are owned by Alibaba okay so without further ado let's do some unboxing So, uh, while I'm preparing, uh, I'm using a lapel microphone. This one's cheap. Uh, you could buy it also in Lazada. It's uh, less than 200 pesos. Uh, that's around uh, $4. Okay, so let's do the unboxing. So, this is the BM800 condenser microphone uh, package with the V8. I'm sorry, this is BM800 and this is the V8 uh, sound card. So let's start with uh, the BM800 condenser microphone with, uh, with a stand or a... Uh, oh, nice. Okay, so I received this package uh, several weeks ago, but uh, this is the only time I can manage uh to do a video about this uh okay so what do we have this is what we have Ta-da! okay so it came with a bubble wrap so the products were not damaged the packaging was not damaged and everything was a-okay so first things first you will uh see a uh, a pop screen filter with the uh, gooseneck and uh, some locking mechanism that you will uh, connect to the microphone stand neck holder you know, the ones that you see in the radio booth yeah th those kinds of uh, ho uh, condenser microphone holder so minus one Okay, with the plastic. Okay, and then you have the anti-shock microphone holder as well. So there's a screw in. Later we'll screw it on the microphone stand thingy. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Okay, so this is the and the uh, locking mechanism that you could uh, put uh, on the side of the table like this one later we'll do it you know uh, I'm gonna do some installation okay so it locks like that okay <coughs> there's a, a minor or minimum height for the table tabletop or whatever top to plan to install this okay so make sure that <laughs> this one could accept the thickness of that uh, of that uh, surface that you plan to uh, to install the the bm800 setup <coughs> so this is the the stand or not a stand but a neck okay so this is the front end and this is the lower end okay where you will install this one like this okay and this is how you're going to install it like that okay for the shock mount microphone shock mount microphone mount Later we'll do that. Let's see what else. Okay, of course we have the. It doesn't come with this. I just wrapped it around, wrapped it with my own uh, cable strap. It's a Velcro, by the way. Nice Velcro. Uh, okay, so this is the cable for the for the microphone for the condenser microphone. If you could see this. Uh, this is the pin, it's a 2.5 and of course the standard 3-pin uh, 
that uh, connects to the condenser microphone. Okay, along with the condenser microphone is its own pop filter. So it's a mic pop filter. Okay, so that's it. Okay. And of course, the star of the show, the BM800. As you can see, I got the gold golden one. Nice, right? Oh, that's the three pin. Okay. So, if we're going to plug this in, the cable, the three pin cable, okay, that would be my front. Okay. And this will be my back without the lock here or release, release button. Release. Lock. Release. Lock. Oh, sorry, there's a uh, there's a click that you're gonna hear. So if you're going to speak to a condenser microphone, uh, the most effective is not this way, like a dynamic microphone. It's not gonna pick up supposedly uh, your voice properly, but you have to do it like this. So this is the front where the the locking mechanism is of the cable. So that's my front and I just talk to it like this or you could be at the back side as well so it could pick up like this la 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 okay so uh, what else so you put the foam here so you could uh, you know talk to it and my uh, subtract the popping sound when you're talking to the microphone okay let's try to do an installation uh, setup I'll, I'm going to uh, put this here on on the table and I'll let the camera record me while I'm doing some uh, assembly okay oh wait before I do some assembly let me uh, push this aside and this is the V8 sound card okay the 8 sound card this is the version one Ta-da! okay it comes with the instructions just follow the instructions because it has many ways on how to perform itself for recording and such it comes with uh, three cables in my case because I requested that uh, I plan to uh, install this install this on a cell phone instead of, uh, of uh, installing it in the PC so it has uh, two cell phone ins okay it has the what the 3.5 jack and uh, micro S, uh, USB two one two okay and the other one is the with the USB and the micro thingy okay nice white Here's the actual product. Ta-da! Okay. So this is the version one. There are also the 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 newer the version. Actually, that the better the performance of this. But this one will suffice. Uh, just make sure that uh, you charge it properly. So there are some ports that you need to understand. So this is line one, line two. So you could actually put if you're going to record uh, using this you insert this to your uh, cell phones okay and this one is another device it could be also a cell phone uh, you could uh, play background music uh, similar to a radio so there it is this is the charging uh, this is for the charging so this is for the two cell phones okay one two okay and what else uh, this is the uh, e uh, earphone and uh, headset basically basically the same one could be a speaker actually and then the condenser microphone goes here like this one condenser microphone goes here and then if you have a dynamic microphone the one the regular one that we used to we we see in uh, karaoke and video okay so this is 
that one. It has a bigger pin. Okay. Okay. So on the control side, on the control side, uh, you have the vo the echo and the mic volume, and you have the power on the right side, upper right side. Uh, oh, by the way, this is Bluetooth enabled. If you click it like so, it has a blue light. Could you see the blue light? Yeah. Okay, that's the blue light. It means that uh, uh, it's powered. Yeah, see? It has a red light and blue light. Okay, the red light means it activating the features here okay but we're not gonna use that yet so remember it has bluetooth okay turn it off okay it's turned off uh, as you can see there are some sound effects here there's laughter there's clapping there's kissing and some other stuff stuff that uh, Probably you won't need. You could make your voice like a chipmunk. It's somewhere there. And of course, what else? Uh, of course, there's recording volume. And then you've got your treble and bass. And uh, music and uh, monitoring. I think, uh, okay, dodging is uh, basically it uh, uh, reduces the sound level. Uh, of the back background music if you are pushing this yeah but only for a few seconds okay so if you're a singer uh, I see a lot of singers in TikTok and other uh, other apps and uh, they they usually use the echo and to be honest I don't like echo it's not natural it's just faking your voice your real voice so I don't use echo I may increase the treble and I may increase the mic sound and I probably adjust my bass okay because uh, I don't have uh, manly manly voice okay so I could probably adjust that as well okay so that's the B8 uh, sound card version 1 okay okay let's try to assemble this micro uh, this microphone with the uh, holder next stand whatever and I'm gonna try my best to show you okay so I have adjusted the camera and let's do this not yet connected to my cell phone so I'll, I'll try to connect it to my cell phone okay I'm still using the lapel microphone here okay tap, tap, tap. if you're hearing that it means it's active oh, oh wait of course we have to install this as well so I hope I'm doing it right there so if I want a pop filter screen on top of the pop filter mic for the BM800 condenser microphone I could do so like this next one we'll try to test the BM800 uh, by plugging this one to an adapter because this is a 
two point something pin. So I need a three point something pin. Okay. My lapel is three point something pin, so I don't need an adapter to plug it into my cell phone. Okay, so uh, wait for me. So here's the adapter. So you need this to transform your 2.5 to a 3.5. Okay, 3.5, 2.5. Okay, the red one is for the microphone. And the green one is for your headset in case you want to uh, have a headset while recording this uh, uh, your video. So I'm gonna move this away and I'm gonna exchange this the BM800 condenser microphone. Wait Muna. Okay, hi, hi, mic test, mic test. So I've plugged in, I have plugged in the BM800 uh, microphone to my cell phone using the adapter. And from 2 point something, it's been transferred to uh, 3 point something to connect to the cell phone. Okay, so I hope you're hearing me. Uh, mic test, mic test, sound check. Okay, I'm gonna remove my headset. It's bothering me. So there, if you're hearing me, I hope it sounds good. Test again with the filter. Hi, my name is Charlie Jose and you're listening and watching Upstream Charlie episode 4. How about let's remove the filter for a while. Just the microphone pop filter. Hello, Mike Tess. Hi, this is Charlie Jose and you're watching Upstream Charlie. And let's remove the pop filter of the microphone and let's see the sound quality hi this is Charlie Jose and you're watching upstream Charlie that's the front let's try the back are you hearing me mic check hi this is up this is upstream Charlie this is Charlie Jose and this is the fourth episode of upstream Charlie oh I almost forgot oh my god we didn't show this earlier including in the package is this one it's a USB adapter okay so you plug it in as you can see there's one for the headset and one for your microphone okay so you plug BM800 here uh, condenser microphone and then and then you insert this one the USB plug to your uh, laptop or PC or Mac okay so if you are doing uh, OBS Studio or Aud Audacity, yeah. So you need this so it could uh, read your uh, BM800. Usually it reads USB. We almost forgot about this. It's hidden because it's white and the foam is white. So that's the unboxing. This is just the basic unboxing of the package deal. So. Yeah, I think I, I only spent around uh, 1,500 pesos or below for this package, including delivery. So again, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or subscribe or like. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next episode. Bye-bye! Hello, hello, this is Charlie Jose again and you're watching Upstream Charlie. At ang episode po natin ngayon, I will be doing some product review at saka product setup. At saka sabihin natin kung ano yung mga pros and cons ng product na ito. Okay, so bago tayo magsimula, kailangan ka muna mag-like or like or subscribe and subscribe. And do not forget about the bell, okay? The bell, bell, bell. And leave your comments before you end the show, 
Okay. So, commercial muna. This is Charlie Jose again and you're watching Upstream Charlie. This is episode 5. Episode 5. So again, we will be doing some product review, product setup, and also uh, different types of setup ng installation ng ganitong klaseng uh, produkto. So we will be introducing yung Pulus uh, brand. So Pulus, they make different types of uh, Cell phone accessories and accessories for photography and videography as well. So right now, ang product na papakita natin, it's a cell phone rig with mini tripod, an LED light, and a microphone. Okay? So kasama yun do sa setup. The product cost around 2,000 pesos. Uh, nabili ko po to sa Lazada. Okay, again, so I received the product uh, in proper condition. Wala na bang pong nasira. Uh, nakuha ko within two weeks when I, uh, when I ordered the product. Okay, so simula na natin. So, ito yung tinatawag na cellphone rig ng Pulus. Makikita nyo yung brand name dyan. Okay, again, they make uh, different types of accessories for photography, for cell phones, for videography, no? using your DSLR camera. So, madamit po silang types of, uh, of uh, products. So, this one I'll be showing to you is the uh, cell phone rig for selfies and for video productions. No? Okay, so this is the uh, cell phone rig. Uh, gawa po siya sa ABS plastic. Tapos, meron siyang cold shoe mount tatlo and uh, it has a rubber uh, material para sa cellphone holder niya cellphone mount uh, it has a good grip actually and what else so depende kung gaano kalaki yung cellphone mo yung thickness na uh, yung width ng cellphone mo so dito po tayo mag-a-adjust okay so meron pag meron siyang paghigpit Meron siyang pag-loosen. Okay. Okay. So, pagdating sa tripod, meron siyang mga one-fourth screw dito na butas. Dito din sa gilid. Pag gusto mo ng vertical or portrait na shot. Okay. Nakaganon yun. Naka nakatayong ganyan. Yeah. Okay. Always be mindful kung nasaan yun saksaka ng microphone dun sa cellphone. Kasi, kaya dalawa yung ends nila nang to kasi depende sa cellphone kung nasa kaliwa, nasa kanan, o nasa gitna yung butas ng uh, pins para sa microphone. Okay. So, ang nabili ko yung red. Yung red siya yung may tatlong cold shoe mount. Okay. So, black yung color niya, ABS plastic. Okay, susunod yung tinatawag na LED. So, itong LED na to, it has 96 pieces na bright LED. Yan. So, may switch siya dyan. Mayroon din siyang cold shoe mount. Mamaya, magagamit mo yun for selfie shots, uh, sa, sa selfie setup. Tapos, you could dim the light, you could maximize the light. Okay. The illumination. Okay. Okay. So, you could also dim the light. Okay. Yan. Hindi ko i-direct sa camera kasi nakaka-bulag at saka pangit yung exposure sa camera. Hindi nyo makikita. 
Yan. Kung gusto niya ng Halloween setup, ganyan. Horror setup. Yan. Pwede rin siyang feel light. Lagay mo siya sa ibang uh, tripod at pwede mo naman siyang screw in do sa tripod as another light source sa light setup mo when you're doing your video production. Okay. So, pwede rin siyang feel light. Para magkaroon ako ng lighting sa shoulder. Okay. Patay natin muna. Okay. So, this one has a filter. Plastic filter. This is for the white light. Uh, so, meron niya siyang sort of diffuser na kasama sa when it was produced. This is for the white light. And this is for the warm light. Ayan. Warm or sunset mode na light. So, this is the orange one. Ayan. Medyo diffuse na rin siya. Ayan. See? It's a diffused plastic. Similar to this one. So, diffused plastic na siya. Ayan. So, ito yun tinatawag na LED lights or LED beads. It has 96 pieces ng LED uh, beads. So, nakita nyo kanina, it was super bright. Tingnan natin ang walang diffuser. Ayan. Ako, super bright. And this is just battery operated. Hindi pa to kuryente galing sa Meralco. So, pag i-dim natin, i-dim natin, Ayan. Chu, 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 chu. O, oh, ayan. Zero. Ayan. Tapos, illumination. Tapos, zero ulit. Ayan. Okay. It has a cold shoe mount. Tapos, it also has a one-fourth screw. So, you could put it on a tripod again and use it as a another light source para sa video production mo. It also has another... Uh, a cold shoe mount as well. So, kung gusto mo siyang, it has two cold shoe mount. Okay. Depende sa sitwasyon kung anong gusto mo naka-vertical o naka-horizontal. Okay. Dito mo ilalagay yung ibang accessories. Pwede yung microphone o microphones or another LED light. Okay. Another LED light. This one comes with the pouch. It's a nice pouch, so you could, when you're traveling, when you're traveling, you just put your LED light here with the batteries inside, okay? okay along with this is again the cable, USB cable. This one goes to the LED box, this one goes to the, LED, uh, to the USB port. So, let's go on with the microphone. So, the microphone is like this one. Uh, it has a cold shoe mount. And it also has a screw, one port, that you could uh, also mount on a tripod or anything that could uh, insert this as a stand. So, it has a pop filter. So, hopefully, it could reduce some sound. Surrounding sound, ambient sound. Okay. So, this is where you plug in the cable. Uh, the manufacturer uh, provides you with uh, two cables and one accessory. So, the accessory is for your Apple iPhone. Okay. So, you plug in here the 3.5 jack. Okay, so this is the 3.5 jack. You plug it in here for, for the adapter. Okay, so use that for your iPhone. So if you don't have an iPhone, you just plug the 2.5 at the rear of the microphone and then plug this to your cell phone. Okay, just make sure that uh, it is being read by your cell phone. Okay, the 3.5.
okay. So if you don't have a cell phone or you don't use cell phone to do video production, you plug in this one again at the back and use the 2.5. Okay. And use the 2.5 to your DLSR camera. Okay. Or if you have a handy cam that uh, the plug, the pin is 2.5 also, you could plug it in as well to your handy cam camera, video camera. Okay. Last but not the least is the tripod. It's made of ABS plastic as well. It has a mount here. So the one-fourth screw is here located with some rubber stopper so it won't uh, damage the rig when you screw it in. Okay, so what's good about this is uh, you could angle your shots by just pressing this one to loosen the ball, to loosen the ball in the middle. Okay. See that okay uh, basically it's like 45 degrees that's the maximum degree that it could uh, go down and go so there it is and of course it's a tripod but for a tripod it has a non-slip grip you see the non-slip yeah, there it is so the non-slip grip is there and there
So how about we do some assembly? I'm actually now recording this one. I hope the microphone is being picked up by my uh, app. Currently, uh, I'm uh, videoing us, videoing, videoing this uh, episode using the ProCam X. Okay, I also have a ProCam X here in my Lenovo. The other one is a Huawei. My Lenovo is a uh, much older one. I think it's a five years old uh, cell phone to date. And the other one is a three year old uh, cell phone, the Huawei. This one does not have a ProCam feature. The other one has a ProCam feature, but I don't use it. I just download ProCam uh, software or apps for Android phones. So this is a setup. Uh, if you plan to do some B-rolls or A-rolls where you're pointing the camera not as a selfie mode style or setup. Let's do a selfie mode setup. This is now the selfie mode setup. So the microphone is pointed at you, the light is pointed at you on the center. You're watching another episode of Upstream Charlie. Hello! Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe and like. Like and subscribe. If you're going to do a selfie mode also, but on a uh, vertical or portrait setup, this is what you need to do.
So, what is the difference between cold shoe and hot shoe? Basically, pag narinig nyo yung hot shoe, ibig sabihin, may kuryenteng pwedeng dumaloy dun sa accessory galing sa camera. Okay? Or another equipment na meron electrical contact between the shoe and the device or yung source ng kuryente. So, this one are called cold shoes. Okay? Or cold shoe. Makikita nyo. Ayan. So, makikita nyo, wala siyang copper contact na makikita. So, plastic lang siya. O plastic na may screw. Kasi, this one has an option. You could put it on a tripod or any uh, other uh, stand na pwede na magkakasya itong one-fourth na screw na interface. So, dun sa description ng pulos, uh, these are called cold shoe uh, where you could anchor it on the cold shoe mount. Okay. So, yan yung mga cold shoe mount. Yeah. Kita nyo, walang copper dyan. Walang copper, walang copper contact ng mga bilog. Kung hindi man copper or uh, parang aluminum copper contact. Mga bilog-bilog yon para dumalo yung kuryente papunta dun sa accessory na kailangan ng kuryente para mag-power up. Okay? So, these are cold shoes. So, that's another episode of Upstream Charlie. We've assembled the pulus. So, if you like this episode, please don't forget to subscribe and like or subscribe and like. Always leave a comment and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you very much!